is up y'all hope y'all having a great day and this course vlog today is going to be special it's going to be the front nine at sand hollow in hurricane utah this course is epic this is going to be the front nine in part one we've got andrew here he's going to be coming along for this course vlog so you'll see some shots some commentary from andrew and his experience here on the front nine at sand hollow we'll be doing the back nine that'll be part two in the next video upload this course tipped out is 7,315 yards. We're gonna be heading straight to one here, 447 yards, pretty straight away. Link's course was amazing. If you haven't watched that video already, you have to check that out. One of us played pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. This course is insane. The setting here, beautiful. I feel like this may be where I retire. I mean, I feel like I'm just in a painting here playing golf. An awesome starting hole with scenery of the mountains all around. Clubhouse right behind the first tee. Let's tee it high and let it fly. That was a little right, but shouldn't be too bad. Should have listened to the car guys and hit a few range balls. That is out a little right. First swing of the day, just getting loose. 151 yards, slightly down the hill. I've got pitch and wedge. We're at an elevation of 3,000 feet here. So the ball is gonna fly a little further. I think it caught the right side of the green, should have a putt for birdie. Walking up from the back side of the green, ball landed there, spun back a few feet, roughly looking at 30 feet, kind of a left to right breaker. And with the par here on one. Even par through one. We're on to number two, par five, 577. Pretty straight away, there's a bunker that's kind of in the middle of the fairway, about 260 to carry it, so it shouldn't be an issue. Got some cool views here with these red rocks, just pretty insane. side should be just fine all right we got to sort out this right miss in the rough the green sits over top that bunker 261 yards i didn't come here to lay up let it fly Decent, maybe just a little left, but should be in good shape. And if you're gonna go for this green in two, you wanna miss to the left. Lots of room over here, just off the green, just past pin high, chipping back up the hill. Great place to be if you're going for this green in two. See if we can't get this up and down for birdie. Gonna be chipping a little bump and run gap wedge. See if we can get it trundling up there close. Oh. Bite. Really not too bad. Chipped it level with the pin, maybe four or five feet left for birdie. Andrew is loving these bunkers. See if he can get this up and down. Oh, dude, little long, but did you hear that contact? That was pure. It sounded really good. It must be these red clay bunkers because I've never hit one like that back in Nashville. Oh, good roll. And that's a pin slammer here on two, let's go. One under through two, exactly the start we were looking for. Super cool, par three, 207, so a little length. I'm gonna be going with a seven iron, pin slightly on the right.
Could it be the one? That was just a fraction ride of the flag. If y'all enjoy these course vlogs, drop a like down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Subscribe to Andrew as well because he's going to be coming out with a bunch of videos on this trip as well. And if you're looking for a little getaway for the weekend, little golf getaway, San Hollow in Utah, southern Utah, is epic. Good swing right there. Ended up just short, roughly 30 feet, maybe 35 feet, kind of putting back up the hill. And with the par here on three. We're on to number four, par four, 466. There's a bunker there on the right and a bunker on the left. To the bunker on the left is 299. Our aiming point is going to be just left of it. The old slider butter cut. Just keeping it under the wind. Yeah, trying to. Trying out some new strategies. Something I got from the cart guys. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, I was aiming just left and that's where I hit it. I think that should be fine. That is the drive we've been looking for. That was a good swing. 157 left. Pins on the right, got a pitch and wedge, need to hit this well. Zach just was shown off for our neighbors. Oh. I think the swing is grooving now, just needed a couple holes of warm up. Got a putt for birdie here. That's what we're looking for out of the pitch and wedge. Landed just a little short, spun back a few feet, maybe 12 feet, kind of putting back up the hill. Andrew hit a good chip here. Stayed out of the bunker, and he just wanted y'all to know that it was a saucy flop. A little flopperoo, tie my shoe, landed right there, trickled. Honestly, it was better visually than the end result, but you're gonna have to take my word for it. It was pretty. Boom. What a huge par putt right there. What an up and down. That is an up and down you read about. Those are some mountains you read about. I feel like I'm a GQ model out here modeling for golf GQ. Hard here on four. One under through four, still in great shape to post a great round from here at Sand Hollow. We're on to number five, par four, 355. I'm gonna hit a little stinger here. There's some room up there, but I just kinda wanna hit a stinger. Should leave us with a wedge in. Pretty straight away, the bunker you see there on the right is 260 yards to it. Green sits back to the left. That was smoked. It was a little high for a stinger, but we'll take that 10 times out of 10. And that is what we're looking for out of the four iron right there. Hit that one well, 90 yards left. Looks to be a fairly middle pin, maybe a little bit on the right side. And look at these views behind this screen. Absolutely incredible. Love Mountain View courses. This is one here. Let's knock this close. took a big bounce. I think that almost flew in the hole. Might be a little long. Did hit that well though. Like I said, hit that one well. Flew it almost in the hole. It landed like a foot away. Hopped just long. Trundled just off the back edge. Roughly maybe 15, 20 feet left for our birdie. Let's roll the rock. Hit 
going right, pretty much where I thought. Thought it would go a little bit to the left. Stayed pretty straight. Par here on five. Andrew, thoughts on Sand Hollow so far? Magnificent, breathtaking. Also, you can hit drives here like 360, so that's pretty dope. Not gonna lie, but it does make you feel bad whenever you hit them like 270, 260. <laughs> that's not a great feeling. We're on to number six, par four, 497 straight away bunker on the left shouldn't be an issue to drive to get high let it fly i was a little right hit it decent i do think there's room up there let's go find out been having the right misses today so far. However, love the forgiving landing areas out here off the tee, even though I am in the rough. 203 yards, slightly down the hill. I'm gonna hit an eight iron because I do think this is gonna be a little bit of a flyer. Gonna play this shot, maybe like 175 to 180, expecting the flyer and it does play slightly downhill. Green hit right there, little short, landed right there, spun back a few feet, even coming out of the rough, did hit it clean, but it did kind of come out fluffy, so it didn't quite get the distance out of it that I was hoping for. Andrew's up there throwing some darts. Turn in. All right, dude, from that distance, I'll take that speed all day long. Here on six. Playing some solid golf. Would love to see a few more birdies trickle in. However, one under par through six. We're on to number seven. A lengthy par five. 577. Straight away. Tee it high. Let it fly. There it is. On the Still left a side. little draggy on my club twirl though. You are. Just slid right down. You are. Got to work on that club twirl. Oh. Looks good. That is the drive we were looking for right there. Andrew's in good shape. Left rough. He's got 302 yards left to the green. You know what? I've got one good three wood swing a week. I'm about to go to the bank, cash out that one three wood swing a week. This one's about to be pretty close, guys. I, that he might have just made the one swing of the week right there. I don't know if that's there, but that was good. I mean, that was not the best swing of the week. That was not my th best three wood swing of the week. That was my best swing of the year right there. 280 yards left. I didn't come here to lay up. All right, Andrew's in good shape here, a little short, and I am in the bunker. I don't know if y'all can see that over there. Both a little short. It was a little into the breeze, but good swings. Yep, a little ambitious, not gonna lie. That broke a little more than I thought. Oh, that is a par here on seven. Super cool feature here on this hole. It's like the opposite of a false front, front edge of the green, and it slopes all down. So you just need to get it on the front edge and it'll trundle all the way to the middle of the green. Pretty cool. 
Would have loved to have made that birdie putt back on seven. However, we remain at one under. We're on to number eight, par three, slightly up the hill, back left hole location, 163 yards. I've got a nine iron. Mine was right on the number, pin high, about 15 feet, maybe 16, 17 feet left for birdie. Would love to finish strong on this nine. Birdie in the last couple would be awesome heading into the back nine. All right, we are in with the par. Next time we'll be a little firmer. What an awesome hole to be making the turn at here on number nine, par four, 433. Going back up the hill to the clubhouse. That clubhouse sits up on like a little plateau. You can see for miles, it is awesome. Let's tee it high and let it fly. Y'all, there are bunnies everywhere out here. Andrew, he has made many friends. I mean, most of them have been friends. I don't know if this is a friend life. He, he is kind of eyeing you down. Yeah. He has a vendetta against me. I don't know why. Number nine here bends back up the hill to the left. The bunker you see on the left is a 301-yard carry. Keeping an eye. I think you need more bunny rabbits on the tee boxes because that might have been your best swing of the day. He doesn't want any of that. He wants none of that 340 drive right there. Down the right side, should be good. Kind of sounded like he just lit off a fire firecracker. Andrew did hit that one well. I was just giving him a hard time. He has 135. Back up the hill, I'm right up there, roughly 125. Both good drives, see if we can't knock it close. Might be a little long to hit that one well, but we got a putt for birdie. Like I said, a little long, probably about 40 feet coming back down the hill, and he did a good putt here. Oh, oh my goodness, that would have been amazing. Oh, that might have been the best long putt I've had in a long time, par here on nine. All right, he finished at one under par on the front nine at Sand Hollow. This place is amazing. Hope y'all enjoyed coming along. Drop a like down below if you did. Subscribe to Andrew because he's gonna be coming out with a bunch of videos from here as well. This place is amazing. We're heading to the back nine, which is the epic nine out here. Looking forward to this. Been a dream of mine to tee it up out here. So hope y'all enjoy. That's gonna be in the next video in part two. So stay tuned for that. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see ya. Peace.